My son, Turner Smith, read all this. Is Lynn. That's Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> Jamie. Well, it's nice to meet you. Have you going on Sandy? to Sandy? Nice to see you. Yeah. Well, we'll be going oh, on to you. Good to see you. Oh. We'll get out of the way. I think we've got a family picture. All right, we love you. Is that a TV? No, it's not. Well, they want to take a camera. It won't be on TV. Good. Yeah, that one's a TV camera. You got a smile, say, aren't you? Say happy Jamie's President's Day. Happy President's Day. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. What about with the whole family? Bye. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> all right. We're going back. We're swimming right Jump now. Now. Yeah. We're going swimming. What? You're safe. Just look at my Thank face. You. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. President, we're going to get the grandparents in there now. Too. Oh. All right. Here we go. Thank the cause you. of the whole thing. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Jamie, say thank you. You took it apart? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> she learns quickly. Thank you. Right. Uh, I'll see this week. Great to meet you. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. We'll see you shortly. Huh? Well, that's right. It's right. Right. Okay. That's going to be great. <laughs> I'll do it over here. Okay. Can you say hi? I hate to call you the boss, but she calls you the boss. Can you say hi to the boss? I'll be home near the boss. What is she? And this is Greg. He's three and a half months old. Weighs about 15 pounds now. <gasps> Caitlin is 28 months old today and only weighs 23 pounds. So he's going to be bigger than his sister pretty soon. Look at that. He's fascinated already. Should we go over to the side over here? It's fine where you are. This is fine. Here, Carol, why don't we put you in the side? That's good. That's a good smile. Hey, let's get one more post on here. You don't want your, you don't want your hands in your mouth. Greg, can you look at the camera? Greg, you know he's interested. Usually, that's all they look at. There we go. There we go. Why don't we do one with Caitlin standing on the ground and we'll get out of the way, Mr. President. You don't want to stand on the ground. You want your picture taken one time? Yeah, you want to stand next to the boss and have your picture taken? Like a big girl? That's <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Now, you know, of course, don't you? Day after tomorrow, it will be that tall. <laughs> or as Mrs. Reagan says, tomorrow there'll be 20. <laughs> My favorite story, it's about, and this is a really true story. Gala was having her first child in the hospital, and things were pretty rough, and it was pain. And there was a pretty experienced nurse there. And finally, she turned to the nurse, and she said, oh, she said, this isn't going to last long, is it? And the nurse said, just about 18 years. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We've got, a lot, right we've got a lot to learn yet, don't we? About no. being parents. Now, he slept through the night for the first time last week. And then, what, he's done it a couple times since then? I can't say that he likes it up there. Uh -huh. <laughs> he's She's breastfeeding, and as you know, that doesn't hold as long as the formula. So he'll wake up at three or four and want to eat, and then wake up again at six or seven and want to eat again. But here in the last week or so, he's been sleeping through the night. So mm -hmm. it's nice. You want to go to your mommy? <laughs> Can you tell him he's going to bye bye? Can you tell him bye bye? He's going to give this to you. Kayla, can you say Thank bye to the boss? Uh, uh, no. You, you, we'll get you some jelly beans. I don't know whether you're comic strip readers or not. I am. Yes. Right now, the one, what's the, is it Kathy? Is, is that Kathy? Yes, the girl. Yeah. But her friend 
having her first baby. Well, I wish you'd see what they go through day after day, the routines. She's, they've read all these fantastic things about yeah. the child and while it's in there. So now she has a thing that she holds that plays music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and, then, and then she talks to it. Oh, the, everything that they're going to have a baby born able, <laughs> able to go to school. Well, maybe it'll work. Well, we get out of the way. We'll say goodbye to you. We have jelly beans out there, Mommy. Yes, there are jelly can. beans out there. Yeah. We'll have them all over this pretty dress. So. Well, there's a handful here. She saw those. Oh. You want to take a handful out of here? Oh, the boss is there. There you go. Can you say thank you? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get this. There. Not one at a time, Caitlin. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
talk to our board again. You know, you've had a tremendous record since you talked to us the last time, and we'd love for you to come down, and I think Trammell Crow's got some special provisions down there in the Anatole to accommodate you. So, uh, <laughs> we'd love to have you come down. When is it? January. It's in January. 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 There are. Uh, it's too far ahead for me. <laughs> <laughs> there are 58,000 uh, people who attend that, so it's uh, it's Good. quite an opportunity, and we're going to stress the bicentennial of the Constitution this year. So. Well, I've been a customer just in the last uh, few weeks. Oh, well, that's right. I'm not building anything, doing a lot of repairs and so forth. The ranch. Well, we have. Still just came. <laughs> <laughs> that, that helps our energy. <laughs> yes. yes, as a matter of fact, the. Uh, same uh, contractor that uh, did the work on uh, the original ranch house when we got there and then they built the uh, house for the foreman uh, out there while he was in on this work so he had to involve some construction. I hope he's a member of our association. <laughs> <laughs> Check on that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. President, I know, I know you're very busy and I thank you very much and I think we better move along and uh, I can say this, that uh, having preceded Dave last year, uh, it made it very easy to be president sure. and have a growing association and a good revived industry. And maybe your leadership has helped to make that come about. We sure appreciate the statement you made on Barbara Walter's show when she asked you what message you wanted to send to the average Russian when you said, you know, it was a single family home with a car and a garage in the yes, driveway. Yeah, We'd like to see you make more statements. Absolutely. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. that would make a difference. I am so frustrated right. about thinking of getting here. You've never been to this country before and getting here at the summit. Mm -hmm. And I keep thinking of all the things I'd just like to have been seen for the first time. But then the frustrating thing I said, I say to myself, yes, everything that you're showing he'd swear, was just arranged. And the other day that was reaffirmed. I read it, if you haven't read it, if you really want to know about life in Russia, there is a book by John Barron, the Washington Bureau Chief here of uh, Reader's Digest. But the book is true. It's a factual book on, and it's simply called Mick Pilot. And this was that Russian pilot. He was a real top ace there in their Air Force that had just grown up believing increasingly that the government, their government was lying to them and so forth. And he's the one that then flew the MiG-25 oh, right. yeah. to Japan and turned over to Washington mm -hmm. so that we could have the information. And he's now here, married to a girl from South Dakota. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the book is so fascinating because they write as he's making his escape in the MiG trying to fly to Japan. And before he gets to Japan, they flash back, the book does, to his childhood. Now you see him grow up in Russia for all the things in their daily living. This great pilot got to this country and had to be taught to drive a car. He had to <laughs> drive an automobile. But uh, all the things that, that are in there and the things that led to his not believing. But then when he came here, he tended to believe that all governments lied. So when they showed him the supermarket, you believe it was all mm -hmm. set up just yeah. to show it. Yeah. Well, you, that statement that you made certainly sent a signal yeah. to the to the, to American, the American public, public that you supported housing. housing. Yeah. So that's wonderful. We, we more, appreciate it. Yeah. We need more of that plain talk about yes, housing. Yes, we do. You <laughs> could focus one of your Saturday uh, radio broadcast or, you know, just a bit. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. God bless you. Thank you, Mr. President. I think you're going to get your tax bill. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're trying to make a little change in the comments on, on transition. We, we support the concept, certainly. Okay. The objective of it. All right. Thank, thank you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Can I tell you, Bye. after too much about you, everything you say about you is true. I'm delighted. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that Washington Bush says about me. <laughs> 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 Mr. President, nice to see you again. Yeah, Help us out a little bit on that end of the chain. Don't let me get hit upside the end of the tube for now. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. We yeah, appreciate your position. Thank you for Secretary Pierce. He really helps us. We appreciate working Thank you, Mr. President. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Look forward to seeing you back in California when you're cruising. Next week we get back there right. in a few days.